Peace, family. What's going on? Hey, listen, we are about to dive into our health tip of the week. The health tip of the week. This week, we're going to be talking about, and I'm going to show you, actually, we're going to show you a video of a book that I'm reading, and the author of that book is called Spark. You know, you should look into this book. It was a gift. My auntie got it for me. Okay? It's written by medical doctor John J. Rady. I guess you could say his name, or that's how you pronounce his uh, name. John J. J. Rady. Okay? It's called Spark. The revolutionary science, the, the revolutionary new science of exercise and the brain. Supercharge your mental circuits to beat stress. Sharpen your thinking, lift your mood, boost your memory, and much more. Okay, so we're about to let him uh, 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 explain exactly what you know his studies were and are, and then um, stay tuned because afterwards I'm going to give you some key points that I learned from what he was saying. So, with that being said, without further ado, let's uh, dive deep into the subject. Why should we exercise? Why can't we just sit on the couch all day long and chat? Right. Well, we're we're actually geared in our genes. We're actually geared to sit on the couch and to eat the highest caloric food that we can have. And this is why I think we we have the obesity crisis and the diabetes crisis today. Um, and I, I really think that that's part of it. Uh, and but we have and and. and these days, we need to know that our co-evolution of our culture has allowed us to be able to sit on the damn couch and to be sedentary much more than we've ever been in our lives. Uh, in, in my lifetime, let's you know, we've seen this huge change you know, around the world. So it's not just here in the U.S. But uh, we, we, we are seeing this problem with, with uh, the, our sedentary lives. And so, but we're geared to move as well. We're geared to move. We had to do both. We had to conserve our resources, our food resources, as well as we had to move to get them when we were hunter gatherers, when our brains and our genes developed. So our our brains evolved to help us be better movers, the best movers that we could be. And 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 with that eventually when we had a language when we had a social involvement our 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 moving brain became our thinking brain and our interacting brain and our calculating brain because we had to do that to move correctly and remember where and act what we're, we're supposed to do and to sequence our movements and to and to re remember what we shouldn't do uh, so we, we're, we're made to move and uh, and we need to pay attention to that. And exercise rewards us in so many ways when we move. Uh, not just endorphin or our endogenous morphine, which people talk about uh, from the early days of the Boston Marathon, when we can measure endorphins. And yes, they do go up, but they're only part of the story. We have all kinds of changes in the brain that occur to help us regulate our emotions and optimize our cognitive capacity. Simply said, we increase our uh, use of, of more of our brain cells in exercise than we do in any other human activity. And what we know and what we talk about now in neuroscience in the past 25 years or so the brain is like our muscle. The brain is a muscle. The more we exercise it, the more we grow it. And when we don't exercise it, it goes fallow. It starts to erode. And and this is this is the whole mantra is to keep moving, keep going, keep keep going to new stuff, keep learning. Uh, and, and and we know that this, this prevents the onset of uh, cognitive decline and Alzheimer's disease. Um, and, and all of that, but pause there for a second, if you could, John. Um, are you, are you saying that, I mean, you're talking about movement cognitively, like in crossword puzzles. Okay. You're also talking mainly about moving the body. Um, it, as you know, it has been found that doing 
you know, cognitive activity like crossword puzzles, learning a new language, et cetera, uh, learning from you uh, will actually help, you know, slow the onset of dementia, you know, reduce the likelihood of it, et cetera. But you're talking about physical movement too. Are you saying that me getting on my treadmill, grinding away for half an hour, you know, when I ought to, or walking around the neighborhood, you know, a mile, you know, an hour or two a day, are you seeing that's going to also uh, reduce the possibility of dementia for people? Oh, even more so than, than doing Sudoku or crossword puzzles, even more so. Oh. The, the studies are very clear, okay? And uh, uh, the Mayo Clinic three years ago did the Department of Neurology looked at over 1,600 papers looking at exercise and its effect on cognitive uh, decline, cognitive preservation, Alzheimer's disease, 1,600 papers, all of them pointing to uh, a positive effect of exercise in improving, even in the elderly, improving their cognitive capacity, not just keeping it, but making it 10 to 11% better. So even if you were a couch potato in your 20s, 30s, 40s, you know, who knows, uh, even in your 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, you can get a benefit from being physically active. Absolutely. And, and our body is geared to, to help you do that if you do it slowly. You don't want to join CrossFit tomorrow if you're a couch potato. You know, you're going to be at the orthopedic surgeon. But, but gradually, gradually, you know, uh, uh, our body adapts just like our brain adapts. And yes, I mean, doing crossword puzzles and Sudoku and all that, 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 that has some benefit, but not nearly as much as the benefit uh, that we have when we move. When, we, when we're moving in space, when we're learning new things, when we're doing yoga, when we're uh, even any kind of the martial arts or uh, the usual kind of exercise of running, swimming, climbing, playing games, uh, and, and, and all of that. And it, because you're using more cells, because the brain evolved to make us better movers. And so the whole brain is, is much more engaged when you're moving and learning. And uh, that's the old, uh, when you're challenging yourself and moving. So running on the treadmill, eh, running outside up and down hills or, or, or walking fast uh, and, and observing and being mindful of where now you're at, like we were as hunter gatherers. You know, I mean, that is the ultimate acts on the brain which helps it grow and helps it be vibrant wow now i'm in the exercise world of course but i'm actually i haven't even got through halfway of this book and i'm amazed because these breakthroughs some of these statistics i had even no clue about so let's go over some of the things some of the key points that I got from it that I want to make sure that you get from it. Okay. Bring this down here. Number one. Let's do this. Okay. Number one. The more we exercise the brain, the more it grows. Okay. Yes. Crossword puzzles. Yes. Puzzles. Um, uh, you know, reading. These things help grow the brain, okay? We know that for a fact when you exercise it in that capacity. But physical movement helps even more than reading a crossword puzzle because as you're moving physically, your body is having to adapt. He said especially when you're outside in nature and you're running through different terrains, hills, your, your mind is having to adjust. Your mind is having to adjust to the environment so it's adding it's adding it's, it's downloading you know 400 something million uh, megabytes per second okay so physical movement even more than learning that's crazy number two our brains are geared to help us be better movers so in this book, one of the things he talks about is, is that the main function of the brain is to help us be better movers. Wow. He said that's one of the actually the pillar and the 
foundation of what the brain is made for is to help us adapt to become better movers. Okay, through movement. Wow. Next thing is exercise rewards us, right? And of course, we know good endorphins and things like that, but also it helps with your mood. So if you're feeling bad and you exercise, nine out of 10 times you can cure that mood by exercise. Anxiety. I have helped so many clients. We have helped so many clients that suffer from anxiety that when they now on an active exercise regimen, they no longer suffer from anxiety. You know how much anxi anxiety can you know cause you to do some crazy things because you're anxious and it don't feel good. So you know medications. People have you know committed suicide from anxiety. Like there's all kind of things negatively that anxiety does to people. So if there's a cure for anxiety without having to get on a, 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 a pill that's going to make you have so many side effects, come on, it's a no-brainer. It's a natural medicine. Okay? Number four, we increase our brain cells more through exercise than we do any other human activity. Oh, my God. We increase our brain cells more through physical exercise than any other human activity. I mean, if that <laughs> if that one thing does not strike, I don't know. I don't know what else will to motivate. You. I don't know. Number five. Of course, we understand that it improves our cognitive capacity. Our capacity to cognitively use our brain. It increases it. So you, be, you can become smarter through physical exercise. You never wondered why a lot of successful CEOs, this is one of the first things they do in the morning, is exercise. Before everybody's even getting up, they got to get their exercise in. So you're struggling in your business right now, and you're trying to figure out what it is and how you can add your lack of energy, lack of mental clarity, lack of thoughts. You got to mirror you exercise. Exercise. Okay. Number six, you want to do this. You want to start out and, and transition slowly. He made a reference in the video as it relates to, you know, don't just start, you know, doing CrossFit tomorrow, you know, because the average everyday person is not geared, you know, for that style of training. So you want to go slowly and work yourself up. Okay. All right. So I hope that was some really good points. And let me let me let you know what exactly that we do that now it makes sense of why I knew that this path was awesome. Number one, our style of training we do here at LOJ Fit Club, we do a functional style of training, meaning if your body doesn't naturally move in that capacity, we don't not train you in that way, which if you come into our studio, People are confused because when they walk in, they only see the front floor. They don't see any equipment. Our equipment is on the other side of the wall, but we don't have any machines. We only have functional equipment, sandbags, kettlebells, dumbbells, things that are free in, 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 in weight and free in space where it's not attached to anything. A machine with a fixed motion doing like this is not natural for the body. And then it decreases. We can tell it is going to probably not have a, a, a as benefit as it relates to something that your brain is having to balance is having to redistribute the weight which is why one of my favorite things to work out with is a sandbag now i understand why you know certain movements challenging movements is increasing the brain cells because coordination and things like that man that's amazing that's amazing this is why we functional train another thing is the reason why we do and specialize in one-on-one -on -one style training is for the simple fact that everybody's at a different level. So because we everybody's at a different level, in order to get maximum input and output from, you know, the results that you're looking for and, you know, and, and, and what you're putting in, we want to take you where you are and work you on a level that you are. Because having where everybody's going towards group, what's happening is you're in this group setting the issue is, is that what you need and actually down the, you know, down four or five spots from you are totally two different things. 
you know it's more so for the business you know benefit to make groups because we can you know business been uh, the business benefit of it is they can charge less right and fit more people in at a time which then on a big scale of things you make more money okay you know some people thrive in that environment a little bit better hey if it if it's, if it's motivating you to do that by all means continue to do it but for those of us who already don't like to exercise like that you definitely don't need to go to anything group related because the accountability is not there also so when you stop going people are not just going to call you like hey you know where you been you know you kind of just a number when you have a one-on-one -on -one experience now that trainer or coach right has you know now has the responsibility of you succeeding just like you have the responsibility so it's much different this is why we do that lastly i want to point out is now exercise on top of everybody who knows us know that we recommend more of a plant-based diet eating more fruits and vegetables okay and showing you how to do that in healthy and in tasty ways so now imagine a plant-based diet that's nourishing your body your brain and nourishing and and, and and putting back the nutrients that you're made from on top of this information we just learned about exercising y'all this is maybe the missing link to why you are not where you uh, want to be in your life and then the physical aspect of the confidence and you know what you build by building the body that's a whole that's just icing on the cake we're talking about the brain so man i hope you enjoyed the video if it's anything that we can do for you if we can coach you you want us to coach you no matter where you are if you want us to train you and you're local here in atlanta um then please give us a call okay uh email us follow us on social media loj fit club like lion of judah so if you're seeing this follow us on social media reach out to us you know um and, and just commit to what you got to commit to so that you can get to where you got to go in other words hey um just, just get busy you know the, the the time is now so all right we hope to talk to you soon and we hope you enjoyed this video take care LOJ Fit Club, Mind, Body, Spirit. Peace.